Welcome to Three Links Care Center. My name is Julie Daniels and I am the Director of Admissions. I'm here to show you a little bit of our outdoor property, the um, beautiful grounds that we have here, and also to show you around the inside of our Three Links Care Center. visit area um, where there's another one for our pathways area that's our secured unit downstairs on the main floor I will be showing you the beautiful garden here in a little bit but this is where people get to come and visit with their loved ones we ask that you make a reservation uh, any questions you can direct them to me and I can direct you to the person otherwise there is information on our Facebook in regards to the visit our reception area as you can see it's very roomy and a lot of light we have a television that oftentimes has information about our activities that are going to be happening and then our reception area is right here our reception desk and then um, Robbie who is the first person you get to meet on your way through the door and she's wonderful and does a lot of amazing things all of this over here to the left and in front of you right here, this is all administrative area, but one important person that you may end up wanting to talk to is back in the back corner, um, all the way to the back, last door on the left, and she's the person that takes care of billing, or billing questions, or assistance with um, applying for a Medicaid. Her name is Carolyn, and she does a great job, and she's very, very, um, helpful and has a lot of knowledge with all of that. So I highly recommend that if you have billing questions that you would talk to her. My office is right here. So this, if you have questions in regards to your admissions, um, back prior COVID, I would have people sit in my office and we'd go through all the paperwork and everything that, that um, people need to fill out when they come into Three Links Care Center. But actually right now, what's been really kind of interesting is we've come a long way with technology and um, a lot of it can be done via email and through the mail so we make it as easy as possible over here is um, a little uh, library area sitting area um, fireplace um, my it's one of my favorite spaces in the winter time we also do our some window visits right here and we also do on the outside we do um, outdoor visits when weather is permitting and um, per reservations, which is so wonderful for all the residents and the family members. This is our Town Square gift shop. I love this gift shop. Um, and it's open, um, not right now, but typically it's open daily um, and has some really unique, fun items. And if we start going down the hallway, as you can see, a lot of space, nice big halls, lots of light. We have our sitting area. Here's a phone that the residents can use for local calls, our mailbox for them to mail their um, cards and letters. And daily, we do have our mail drop, where we have our, our activities department will drop off all the mail to the residents. And a lot of times, they'll come in costume. And it's just kind of fun. And, very positive and uplifting. We have an area for the um, daily newspapers. A lot of times people will have their lunch or a copy and snack out here. And um, when we do have activities, we, this activity board is usually full of all sorts of things. But right now we're making a big deal out of birthdays. And that's an important thing. So a lot of people that come to Three Links Care Center are coming for rehab and they stay on our bridge and the TCU is what we call it. And a lot of their time will be spent working with our amazing therapy team. And their um, gym is right in here. It's nice and bright, lots of windows, has a great view. And physical therapy, 
occupational therapy, speech therapy, and so a lot of the therapy will be happening right here in this room, but also in our halls, in the resident rooms. And as you can see, if, you can, if there's a little view up, you have a really pretty view of our garden um, that is in our, down by our pathways, memory care unit. say that this is one of our uh, most popular items <laughs> in the building are, is the aviary, or I just call them the birds. They're really fun to watch. A lot of our residents really enjoy, and they're uplifting, and they're fun, and they switch them out every now and again, I think. But you can see some up in the little bird houses, and they're just very entertaining. <laughs> dining room. It's one of my favorite rooms because of many, many reasons. One of them being all the light and the windows and the view and the fireplace that we have going in the winter time. And it has a lot of character. Um, we have live entertainment in here quite often in non-COVID times. They'll do a full room full of people playing bingo. And um, residents currently are able to eat in here at one person at a table, at least six feet apart. So that's opened up a lot, and they eat in shifts, so everybody gets an opportunity. And if I bring you around this way, as you can see, it is quite the, quite the view. Um, you keep going out here, you'll see our gardens and our waterfall, which I will be showing to you in other parts of this video. But I just think it's so wonderful that everywhere you look out here, you're seeing nature and the beauty and it's cheery and bright and um, hopeful and the residents do have access to this garden and they can walk around and um, hang out in the garden and enjoy the day and back after hopefully once COVID is gone all you know families again will be able to join their loved ones in there it is a secured area So this is Crossroads, and this is where our long-term residents live. There is Marigold Lane, Daisy Lane, and Iris. And they are all kind of just split up that way by that name, by those names, I should say. And um, we have some private rooms, and we also have shared rooms, shared baths. And then we also have private rooms with a shared bath. So there's options for you to choose from. And those are discussions you would have with me as to what works best for your loved one or for yourself. This is Bridge. Bridge is our transitional care unit where people come and stay for rehab, usually around 20 days. We have um, all private rooms. Some of them do have private baths and some have shared baths. There are nine rooms on our TCU. family kitchen. Um, it's a wonderful for our, our residents. A lot of our activities, baking opportunities, things like that happen in here. And during non-COVID times, um, we open it up and families can make reservations to even hold like a birthday party, Thanksgiving. Reservations are highly recommended way in advance. And just and it's just a nice area for the residents to um, experience other options and even including playing cards with over here and we also do puzzles and it has a nice view as well. This is our chapel and every Saturday during non-COVID times there is a non-denominational service. And then we also have lots of other activities that would happen in here, such as movies and exercise class. Right now we use it quite a bit for um, window visits. Over this way, there's a nice spot for the family members to have a window-to-window -window visit where we provide a phone and all of that. And then we also do a lot of, um, of our team meetings in here because we can keep ourselves nice and spaced. As you can see, it's a beautiful big room. Lots of light and 
lots of uh, stained glass. One thing I'd really like to highlight is the beautiful artwork that is done by our life enrichment team with our residents side by side. It's a wonderful activity. There are many, many great artists that live here. This one over here is particularly one of my favorites. And it's very cheery and summery. And um, yes, it's, it's one of those many wonderful things our life enrichment staff do with our residents. So this is our Pathways Garden, and it is beautiful, and we have people who have spent a lot of time making it quite lovely for the residents, and a lot of the residents would like to participate in the activities that happen out here. When we get down this way, you'll get to kind of take a peek. see all the flowers, and a nice little walkway. It's secure. our garden, um, another secure area for our residents to enjoy the great outdoors, beautiful gardens, a lovely waterfall, and also during non-COVID times many uh, families will meet up with their loved one here and uh, take some time to just be in the peaceful gardens. This is Cottages on Forest, which is a secured memory care building, um, very beautiful, and it's attached to a, a lovely atrium with a nice garden. And then to the other side of the atrium is our Reflections Care Suites, um, that is a hospice suite. Any questions you have about that, you can also reach out to me or you can go to our website, which is threelinks.org, for more information. If you are looking for secure memory care opportunities for yourself or your loved ones, we do have Cottages East, 